Ko Nichiwa, Minu Suzuki, and you're watching Survivor Tommy. Today's 10 minute first pressure video is going to be on an Amiga 1200 game. And that is Uninvited. Really excited to give this one a try, and trust me when I say I am going to do my best to get myself an Amiga 1200 or an Amiga to physically own this game, or I just might just buy it flat out to have a copy. Really excited to do, have the opportunity to try out this game. Um, I've only played the NES one, which is just amazing how expensive it is now. So let's see how this one plays and have some fun with it. As always, time to play game first, so I'm playing the game of version of Ah, we can't skip anything. Let's at least get into the game first before we start the timer. This would be really cool to have. I mean, I have an Apple II, a Commodore, a Tandy. Um, it'd be fun to have this system. Presents another Amiga Adventure. Uninvited. Starting timer now. Timer has been started. It's loading. <laughs> there we go. Loading. Okay. Examine open case mark. Operation go. Continue. Good morning. You have been summoned as the uninvited. Look out! The last thing that you remember before the darkness rushed up to claim you is your brother's embrace. You can't help but notice the pungent odor of gasoline as it leaks from the raptured gas, uh, gas tank. Okay. Now we need to get... Okay. Examine, open case part. Oh, close. What? The door is already closed. The lightning and thunder be bring shivers down your spine. Okay, um, um, open. Open door. The car door opens with some effort. The accident has caused some damage to the door. Okay, go, go, go. Boom! There is a mighty explosion behind you as your car bursts into flames. That will at least save you for the cost of a tow. <laughs> Better try to find your younger brother and have him call a cab instead of a uh, instead of a tow truck. Okay. Thunder! Thunder! Thunder, you cats! Ho! Oh. Okay, sorry. You stand at the front porch of a house. This old gothic mansion casts gloomy shadows all around you. A sharp wind cuts through your flesh to chill your bones. The pounding thunder grows louder. And more threatening. Okay. Let's first of all let's open the mailbox. Mailbox is now open. Let's take it. Okay. It's an envelope. Is addressed to the Mister Cordley six six six. Blackwell Road, Loch Ness, Scotland. Okay. Uh, do I... Okay. No. Okay. Operate. Speak. Close. Open. Examine. Hit. Consume. Um, I think we use consume then? That is physically impossible. Okay, okay, 
and I'll eat the letter. So, I guess we'll close. Since we can't really take it. Okay, no book is now closed. Go to the exit. Or the door, I should say. That is a really good store sound effect, man! Wow! You hear me wonders why I don't do sound or any game sound, even if it's not very much. Well, you can blame YouTube for that. Ooh. Wow. As you enter the mansion, the door slams closed behind you. Welcome home. The entrance hall is a large, extravagant, luxurious room. Yet... Feel strangely oppressive. Hmm. This painting depicts a mighty serpent winding itself around a rather large egg. The egg seems phased and stares intently across the room. The egg seems unfazed and stares intently across the room. Uh, what was that? A great bird of prey is pictured swooping down, talons extended upon some undepicted victim. The painting is a striking work in oil on canvas. But are we not going to, to discuss that we saw a demon walk across the screen? Oh, there's a pentagram in the middle of the room. Oh. You now have the two question the reliability of your eyes. You think you see something somewhat cute, a creature with a key in its hand prowls by. You're not sure whether it's your eyes or your mind playing tricks on you. Could be both. Okay, so the game does recognize that. Okay. This very large room size carpet displays a pentagram. A five pointed star is set against a circular star field. Okay. Okay. But that doesn't help at all. Let's go ahead and try opening the doors without. The door is now open. Okay. The going through the entrance hall does not make sense. Okay, apparently I picked the wrong door. Oh, I remember this hallway. This is not a good hallway. This room is devoid of any... Aesthetic warmth or beauty, it is purely functional, functional, with no concern for the tribulations of entire design. Okay, let's examine the painting. Hopefully we won't summon the ghost. It looks like a still re reproduced from F.W. Moore. More knows film Nosferatu. There seems to be a familiar face in the background. On closer examination, it appears to be Dave Fieldman, who went and insight with a 
valuable asset in the creation of the Enlightened. Okay, cool. So we got five doors and a staircase to go. Let's go upstairs. Hey, how do you expect to go through? Go there? Oh, I clicked on the window by accident. The old wooden floorboards creak under your weight. Your creaking footsteps echo through the emptiness of the huge house. Nice. Time to examine the really large shark on the wall. It'll probably come alive and try to kill me. So we are trying to get killed in the video. We have 27 seconds. There's something fishy about this trophy. Let's hit it see what happens. Hitting the mounted fish accomplishes nothing. <laughs> Let's try opening it then. The mounted fish cannot be opened. And there goes the timer. Okay. I have to say, um, this is actually a very good version of the game. Makes me really want to pick this up because it did come out to the Apple II. Uh, the Macintosh, IBM, Amiga, and then even the Commodore 64 got a version. I don't know if the Commodore 64 would be like this, but it makes me wonder because now I would like to pick up uh, one of the versions just so I can actually have a physical copy, especially a version like this, because I would like to actually have one that uses a mouse or something. Um, I love the sound effects that they actually threw in here. That adds a whole new element to it that the NES just couldn't do uh, really well. And I like how it's just it's set up nicely with what they did. It's definitely a fun version and one that I will not mind to go through. And you know, of course, I'll probably need a guide, but still have fun with it because it is a very good game, but a difficult one too, so you gotta be ready because there's a lot of ways to die in this game. And with how I know they were on Shadowgate, even Deja Vu, get ready because the game is not gonna be nice to you at all. And little things could get you killed. I mean, like uh, what happened to the car? I pushed the wrong button and automatically, you know, Thunder Lightning, it's like, oh crap, I gotta get out of this car. And as soon as you get out of the car, Kaboom, the car blows up. If I had uh, done too many clicks incorrectly, then we would have died in the car. So that's what makes this one such a, a great game. The whole series is just spectacular. And um, we're lucky enough to get a, a re-release of these um, on some of the older ones. To where we can play the original, uh, I think it's the... Uh, the Macintosh editions, if I remember correctly, the IBM, I forget. So, if you guys are ever looking for a good one to try, um, Uninvited, Shadowgate, Deja Vu 1 and 2, just great games to enjoy, and you will be challenged quite well, so I would highly recommend to give them a try. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed, as for once, I didn't die in one of these games. Isn't that exciting? Extremely uh, nerving because usually it's like it's gonna give you something that's like oh, and death to ye. Well, I mean, like if I just continue to play this after this, I will end up being dead in like two seconds or something. Thank you guys for watching. This is T Secure saying ciao and sayonara.